Hello viewers, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be driving this uh, Blaunet train, which is ba which is not an NS train obviously, from Kampen to Zwolle with as uh, with one destination where we, which we have to stop on, uh, which uh, stop at in the in the middle of the journey, and that is Zwolle Stadshagen. That's already near the final destination. Um, we will skip the prompt for today, but basically says good, good afternoon. Uh, don't forget the uh, A to B new generation, this and that. Um, yeah, basically what I just said in my introduction already. Um, you can see it's a bit rainy today in this scenario, but let's get started. So first of all. This is this the Stadler Flirt train model of Crush Trains. This is obviously payware, just like the other trains I showed you in previous videos. Um, and today I'll be uh, teaching you how to drive this train. And also learning you a little thing about weather conditions. Very little because uh, I'm basically just going to tell you how to enable the screen wipers. Uh, but let's just uh, start. Uh, let's just start uh, preparing the train. So let's first enable the A to B new generation, like they said. And there's one. Uh, there's also one other extra step, which is increasing the cruise speed, because this train works with the cruise speeds. So how the cruise speeds works is you can see here. There's a needle here. This may basically means we do not go above 40 kilometers an hour. It's now set at 40 kilometers an hour. How do you increase or decrease this? Well, you increase this with the button R on your keyboard. And it does 5 kilometers per time you press it. And to decrease it, you press F. You can also do this while, dry, while the train is moving. You don't have to stop first and and uh, then do it. No, you can also do this while driving the actual train. You still might need to brake a little to achieve your cruise speed though. If you try, if you like, for example, if I have this at 60 and I want to decrease it to 50, then I will still need to brake a little to get that speed. But it will not go above 50 kilometers per hour then. But since there is a sign of 14 there, yeah, it's barely visible because of the rain. But we're gonna put this all the way up. Oh yeah, it's not. A p it's important not to spam it because that doesn't really work effectively. You just need to do it like this. And it's at 140. Great. Um, put on the headlights, obviously, just like I did. There we go. Uh, let's. Put on uh, the reverser into forward. Um, and let's open the doors, I guess. The course has already been set by the map itself, so we don't do not need to pay attention to that today. But what we do have to do as an extra step with this scenario is enable the screen wiper. So this has three different modes. This is the first mode for light rain. This is the second mode for normal uh, uh, rain. And this is the third mode for the intense rain, like today. I just press the V button, because V uh, enables the screen wipers. You can press Shift V to go back to the previous, or yeah, to the previous mode. But let's just get a move on. This is a combined handle again, so when I go into the minus uh, percentages, then it will break the train, just like the last train, as you can see. And I'll enable the damage switch for realism. I can just leave the train to accelerate now. Because it will not go above 140 km per hour because I set the cruise speed at it. This is part of the new uh, 
European uh, e EDR TMS system, but that's going to be fully implemented later on. I don't know that for sure, but... Uh, we have to actually pay attention to this over here, because if this changes... Or this light here, this LED indicator, then we have to uh, decrease or increase speed. I don't think we have to increase speed now because 140 is the maximum. I've also not been to, uh, to Station Swander in real life yet as well because it's quite already a little bit in the northern region of the Netherlands so it's quite a distance from my place Swander is further away than Amsterdam for me at least so uh, I don't know a lot about this environment as well. There will be also no other trains today, as this is the only, um, mainly the only line we will be operating, and it is not a very busy line. And I also uh, took a peek at the scenario before uh, loading it, it in, and it. Uh, there were no uh, other tr trains included in this scenario other than the tra train we are driving right now. I've only been... I, I have been in this train though once in my life. And I must say I quite like these Blownet Stadler flirts. The seating is quite nice and luxury. Even, for second, even in second class, believe it or not. And uh, they are very modern, and they, uh, oh, we have to decrease our speed to 100. <coughs> yeah, it's, 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 they also really speed up quite quickly they reach like 60 kilometers an hour i don't know but it takes like 10 seconds or something and they're, they're really fast very important thing for this scenario is this is leading this isn't we have to follow this not this and this says 100 so i'm following 100 I need to stop at this station. There we go, very nice. So as you can see this is quite a short station. 
so it's easy to miss and I just nailed it. And yes, with a little bit of wheel slip, but this station is tricky if you do not pay attention to your speed. Also good thing to know is um, this train takes a little bit of a while to decompressurize when loading up. So you always have to um, just leave it in the negative uh, percentages when, you, when you're uh, parked at the station. Because um, otherwise uh, it will not... Uh, start driving and I've experienced this already uh, a couple of times let's just decrease the speed to 100 cruising speed is now set to 100 so now we can accelerate fully as you can see this is a very short scenario but this is quite a scenario that you need to be focused on because it's the A to B constantly changes The station was quite short, as you saw. And in a minute we have to slow down to uh, 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, so basically now I'm getting a prompt. Good afternoon, Master. You will arrive at Zwolle shortly. Um, after a stop of a couple of minutes, you will drive back to Campen. And we'll be doing the exact same thing. But uh, we will be switching cabs again. And let's break because we drove past the sign indicating that we need to. That was me not pressing the damage switch in the 60 second window. Welcome to Station Zwolle. This is a beautifully detailed station, might I just say. It's only a shame this scenario doesn't have other trains in it, because it feels a little bit dead right now. left here. No we are not. Yeah it's also a bit too short, never mind. Let's carefully start braking because we do not want to hit the end of the track. There we go, we've stopped. Okay, now we disable the A to B. We dis 
the seven day headlights uh, over here let me see over and we press it until we got get this and put the reverse in neutral and we press control f11 oh no no control and uh, the equal is equal mark ah. oh same stuff until we get into the right cap we would press that com uh, combination so again press the control and is equal to button to uh, get there uh, to, sw to switch caps uh, and do that until you get into the right cap when we're in the, in the right cap we enable the A to B again and uh, we'll just do the exact same thing uh, make sure the headlights are correct yes they are uh, make sure the cruise speed is set normally is is but I'm just going to already increase to 100 in case that we need to speed up there we go and we can already depart again let's go and that's how easy it is oh yeah I've got the screen wipers quickly do that before I can't see a damn thing Oh, we're speeding. Let's not do that. And now we're going to do the exact same thing. Yeah, it's not really... It's Maybe it's not that interesting, but... I, I quite... Uh, I like the map. And I like the train. But there will be uh, an Intercity uh, video coming after this video, don't worry. With a longer journey. Okay, we can almost... Okay, now we can increase speed to 100 km an hour. next station again This train's brake is fantastic. 
and I do really like the automatic deadman switch as well. This this is a good deadman switch. Because this deadman switch automatically deactivates itself when you're standing still. Let's increase our cruise speed back to 140 and let's get moving along again. And, uh, there it goes. What was the me deactivating the demo switch anyway? I don't know. Don't believe every word I say. <laughs> And now we're just uh, heading back towards Kampen again. This is maybe a good route if you do want to do something not too long, but still quite nice. And maybe a little challenging, because this is a little... This is a still not a very easy scenario, this is still a little bit tricky in some ways. switch again episode train drives to real life as well Sometimes I just don't know what to say, and this is one of those moments. Just sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the journey.
to get to that approach speed of 60 km an hour, but I think 40 is better for this station. And here we are again. And that was the entire journey again. That's for the thumbnail. Okay, and it uh, basically says we've done it. Si we've done this scenario successfully with no errors. Yeah, with slight errors, I guess, but at least the scenario ha has been completed. It's not incomplete. Target complete. Oh, this this is weird. That's just. Well, that was uh, the scenario uh, as well as Gumpen and back again I mean encompass wall and back again so uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you like the video pl then please leave a like if you have some feedback or some other improvement uh, improvements that I can make in the video then I would like to know uh, please leave a comment for that um, and if you loved the video uh, please show your support by subscribing because that uh, helps me grow this channel to uh, to uh, to release better content for you guys. Okay, um, I'm going to make the intercity uh, video right now as well immediately straight after, so you guys can enjoy that later on this week. So uh, see ya till then. Goodbye.